I was right. going to say, everybody wants back from break. Potion. Back from break. Deciding who would take the rest of the potions. Uh, Durak? You know, uh, that, um, that fire-breathing potion, I, I did use one to defeat a Tyrannosaurus Rex single-handedly and save the entire party. So, you know, maybe I know how to use one. That said, that's good, that's good enough for me. Um, I'd the, like the some more details, though. The Hero's Herald is quite an impressive weapon, and so I do not need this to defeat uh, mere lycanthropes, though one of you weaklings should probably take that. Well, clearly if we're all so amazing, then we should maybe put the, the Potion of Fire Breathing in the shared stash for someone who's not as awesome as us. Sounds like a good plan. Just a thought. I mean, I always love giving things to drink away, so um, <laughs> why, don't you, why don't I hold on to it? And then I'll give it to somebody. And then I'll pick it up and I hand it to Susie. Take it. Stop saying no. <laughs> what did you just hand me? A potion of fire breathing. <laughs> I don't... Here, let me give you the stats mm -hmm. for it. Yep. Are you just going to do it for me? No. Okay. Uh, but I will, po no. I will paste them so you can copy and paste them. <laughs> Oh, it's a bonus action. That's delightful. Very good. Yeah. I figured I'd give you one good potion. <laughs> and and that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> yeah, you guys could have had this, but no. All right. No. So I think, Ander, you, you decided you, you wanted the, the photosynthesis potion? Oh, yeah. Never having to worry about eating or drinking again. I'll totally take that. Yeah. So, I mean, you will get a little hungry at night, and if you don't, if you stay in the cave too long, you also get hungry. Um, That's fair. But also, upon drinking it, you have a – your skin goes, like, green. Like, you are, like, leaf green now, the whole, your whole body. Hmm. I'm going to assume that Starfire conveniently forgot to tell us that this would happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I don't know like, about that, but you're just green. You just like take a take a long nap or something. I bet it just wears off. I yeah, sure. desperately hope it does. We fast forward years from now. Ander is like sixty. He's still green. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Starfire. <laughs> He's also susceptible to Dutch elm disease. It's terrible. <laughs> He's he's mastered his craft. He can now grow poison ivy. Like, yeah. All right. I just need to class into druid for myself. We gotta clean him from mites every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, um, you guys go through the through the the caves. Um. Oh wait, no, because you have to. You talk to um Rico Strongrock first. So Rico Strongrock is like, all right. So you guys are going through the portal. What are you going to get this time? Going to get? Um, well, yeah, this time, right. you, know, you know, last time we did really good. We 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 promoted. You know, we came in under your uh, thing and we knocked them out. Got got three crystallized magics. Pretty good. Pretty good. This time, I think though, we're gonna go and uh, we're not gonna compete in the arena. Mm. Uh, we got some other business outside of town. Well, you know, it takes a lot of work to. Uh... Get the portal ready, sneak you guys out of here, all that stuff. So, um... Does he need some persuading? Yeah, he does. In fact, needs some persuading. That That's that's the exact face I was making, yeah. Oh, all right. Um, do you mind if I step in? Go ahead. What are you going to mm -hmm. say? Uh, I'm going to say this is for the good of all in Gathol, don't you think? Uh, there's a population of lycanthropes out here who could be a sizable threat to the little civilization that we have going on over here. And I don't know if you're acquainted with Susie? She's a priestess of Salune, and anyone who knows anything about lycanthropes knows that these little creatures are governed magically by the forces of the moon. And so she might actually be able to Sway them to our side and think of the possibilities. All right, go ahead and make a persuasion check. All right. Uh, what about the 
Can you let me know? What did you say? If there's any assisting I can do, let me know. Like, flashing all my stars. All right. Uh, sure. Yeah. Well, mm. uh, unneeded. Wow. <laughs> he says, Jeez. all right, fair enough. Fair enough. And then he leads you guys out to the portal. You guys go through it. Um, so the the uh, pathway is long and arduous. Um, I don't think anyone was here except for Durok. Um, so we're going to do this one more time. Durok, you don't need to. You don't need to. You're not going to make the roll. Um, but you're going to get one level of fatigue. Okay. Because what we're going to do from now on is everyone's going to get fatigue. Because this, this is like a long, arduous, treacherous over mountains and stuff like that. Uh, but for the rest I've of you. I've been doing that my whole life. Huh? Like my, my character. That's like I just travel and like push through difficult terrain. Right. Yeah. But yeah. You're right. But, but this time, the first time for everyone, we make a roll and we're going to tell a story together. So okay. that's, that's going to work. But from now on, it's fatigue. Uh, or from 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 then on. All right. I don't know what fatigue does, but I'll look it up. It's just condition fatigue. Uh, right? yeah. It's bad. It does oh, okay, we're talking about fatigue. Not good. All right, so gravy. I want you to make a uh, d twenty roll for me. Just straight d twenty. Yep. Boom! See how fast that was. Oh. <laughs> All right, gravy. I want. I want you, so on this long, arduous journey, I want you to make a religion roll, either before or after, but I want you to tell me a story about how uh, you use religion in order to get through this journey. It's, a, it's over mountains, there's a road that you need to travel by, so however you want to incorporate this into the story, you can. Okay, uh, what's the name of the god that I was negotiating the, you were just negotiating with Banad. He was a, a middleman to whatever god that he, he was unnamed. You didn't know who it actually was. Okay. I think I'll... I'll um, that's kind of the only god I really know. That's okay. And, okay, then I'll just be sort of like trying to apologize and be doing the whole, you know... Uh, I know we didn't quite make that deal, but, you know, if you could just help me you know, get through this really difficult journey, you know, maybe I can reconsider, uh, our other deal, you know? <laughs> so Guys, you're having like a very inward, like fight. You're trying to overcome this journey because like you're spending a lot of time in your own head, but it's disingenuous and I don't think I'm ever going back. And I, uh, but I'm not really thinking that he necessarily knows that or she, I'm just sure. like, sure. Okay. Give me, give me a, a religion check then, at disadvantage because you're not genuine. <laughs> ah, oh wow! Crushed it. Yeah, they, they believe you. You, you, you get some sort of by the end of the journey, you get some sort of sense of relief. You're sort of like, yeah, I think I did good. I think I did all right. You know. All right, uh, Ander, go ahead and give me another d20 roll. Sure. Uh, can I actually declare having done one thing before we left? Sure. Uh, everyone, if they're willing to spend 10 minutes praying to Mistra, because Mistra's awesome, uh, you can take 7 temp HP, and there's my nat one. <laughs> That's fine. This is, this is, all right. I want you, Andrew, right. to describe how you use acrobatics on this journey to get through this journey. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you say 7? Yeah, 7 temp HP, because it's my level plus my charisma. Yep, I'll take it. Thanks. Yep. Uh, well, clearly not well. Like, there there are probably points where we're cl having to climb over, like, hills or some kind of crag or what have you. And, like, there is a point where I just fall flat on my face. Like, I get up, like, rocks have, like, scratched my face, and I just feel miserable. All right, we'll make make it an acrobatics check, and we'll see how how bad you get hurt. Yay! All right, where where are you? Oh uh, yeah, not great. Yeah. All right, so um, um, what we're gonna do here is, uh, basically, you 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 fall down, and you actually uh, get hurt uh, quite a bit. Uh, like you you know you're gonna have these sort of bruises for for quite a while. So we'll say um, you take five damage, uh, and you can't 
you can't heal that. Like it's just like sort of off the top. You know what I mean? Are the bruises now brown? Yeah. Like a wilted leaf instead of yellow. Uh, yeah. So you can't heal that like this session. It's basically what it is. It's like it's really really. That's fine. I mean, it's getting knocked off temp HP. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. That's fine. Mr. All right. Yeah, they're real brown. Like he landed on some like, like it was like he fell into like just thorns and sharp rocks. And then he kept falling into other things. You know what I mean? Because it was like it was it was very embarrassing for him. Uh, maybe oh, maybe it's because he's a plant now that it's like unexpected damage. <laughs> and he's just not used to it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, time in the sun. It's like instead it's of like blood, like, it's just sort of like <laughs> sap that comes out. <laughs> He just like I don't know how to feel against... about any of this. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he's like getting all these scars from just brushing up against things lightly. Yeah, or maybe it's the roots growing out of the bottoms of his feet. Mm. All right, cool. All right, Susie, give me a d20 roll. Three. Mm. All right, Susie, Susie, you have to explain to us and tell a story about how. You need to make an arcana check on this uh, on this journey and, and how it comes up and what happens. You can roll before or after, whatever you want to do. Well, it definitely has to be about the moon sure. and what phase it's in right now. Yeah, so you know? when, after you teleport through this portal, you're actually so far away that it's like nighttime now. So you guys leave during the day. And you you go so far like along the you know the plane or whatever globe you're on that you're in a different time zone like the stars are different here like because you're so far away. Wow. <laughs> and so maybe I inaccurately name some stars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me an Arcana check. <laughs> oh, it's bad. <laughs> Still did better than me. Well, uh, it's a negative one there, buddy. So <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so maybe maybe you're sort of trying to like figure out some naming conventions and things like that, and you're trying to look for the stars that typically like center you to like where yeah. you are and stuff like that. Uh, but sort of you're you're unable to find your center. Um, let me go. So no idea where the fuck I am. Yeah, because you have no idea. Like the stars aren't the kind of stars that you're used to. Um, this sort of thing could have other repercussions. This is a really good story failure, I think. <laughs> um, I have a quick question for Susie. Yeah. Sure. I've actually traveled a lot and uh, had like this back and forth with different people, and I've never really heard evidence one way or the other that really swayed. Me. Uh, as far as whether or not the Earth is flat or, like, round or a sphere, do you know anything about that? I know there is a grand moon. Can I tell you about it? <laughs> <laughs> is <All right>. the moon? <laughs> All right. I don't want to take up any time with that, but that's just like a... So, so another thing too that you might notice is um, here the the sky is less um, like there's still weird shit going on in the sky, but it's not like a big blood or reality. It's like there's there's is it more like where stuff. when I was home? Because remember I got right. Um, yeah, it definitely seems like here. it may might have been from before or something. Like who knows how okay. far this is away. Um, hmm. So what I'm gonna do is. Um, I'm going to give you, um, so until you go back home, until you like go back to Gathal, you're going to basically act as though you're poisoned, which means you have disadvantage on attack and ability checks. Uh, yeah. It wasn't big, that bad. It's not, not a big deal. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. If, I mean, if you get below a 10, it's pretty bad. It's, that's, that's mm-hmm. sort of what it's it like is. slightly below 10. But it's below. But it's below ten. It's like a it's like a cliff. Yeah. There's not like once you're over, you're over. <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone else doesn't fail. Listen, I started uh last session like down twelve hit points, uh and uh like uh, um something yeah. else. Happy he's not killing us anymore. Yeah. Like yep. <laughs> All right. 
Proteus, give me a D. Give me that D twenty roll. All right. Please do well. Eight. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> yeah, this is just to decide what the check is going to be. This. So it is yeah. right. Yeah. All right. So Proteus needs to describe to me how intimidation. What 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 does he have to do during this journey to to induce intimidation, and how does it help or hinder the party? Mm -hmm. Um. So we're. Uh... We're making this uh, this long journey. Proteus has never actually uh, uh, adventured with gravy um, before, and uh, uh, what a, a spectacularly intimidating um, figure gravy can be. Um, and so Proteus is doing a lot of thinking on on what is what is it exactly that uh, that makes gravy so so particularly um, um, frightening or off putting. Um, and so he, he's trying to enumerate it in his mind, and he, he's, he's, he's focusing on him um, as we're journeying, as we're making this long, like, kind of arduous journey. And um, and he's, you know, he, he's trying to, like, you know, mimic postures and and see see if he can he can uh, uh, replicate uh, just a little bit of of what gravy has there. Okay. So I like instead of instead of you rolling intimidation, I like gravy. Roll, rolling perception to see mm -hmm. if he notices this. Um, so, actually, okay, so you still roll intimidation, gravy, you roll perception. Yep. I want both rolls. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Gravy's gonna oh be my god. All right. <laughs> gravy, gravy, roll insight. Roll insight. Fucking bomb. Okay, so here's what happens. Protus, you're acting intimidating and, you know, like, scary and all that stuff. You're, like, picking up on clu clues that he has sort of intrinsic into his barbarian lifestyle in his, like, um, you know, his totems and his, his, his body. Gravy, you turn around and notice that he's doing this, but the way you interpret it is is – he is actually intimidating you. Like he's not mimicking you. You like you don't have a good enough check to notice he's mimicking you. You actually think that he's trying to intimidate you, he's and he's actually kind position. of working. <laughs> huh? So like, kind of every time you turn around, you know, he like. <laughs> What's up, bro? He's highballing you every you time you go? turn around. <laughs> Oh my god. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just repeat everything you say back to you. <laughs> you <just repeat. laughs> I, uh, I'm going to actually move towards the front of the party. <laughs> I don't want people to notice that like it's actually getting to me, so I try to be casual about it. Or I'm like, like, oh, hey, whoever's in front, I got a quick question for you on something. Oh, uh, this planet, is it round? Yeah, the planet is round, right? Yeah, and then you turn <laughs> yeah, around and he's still moves. doing it. Like, he's still. Because yeah. <laughs> Susie, like, she's talking about the moon. She didn't really have much to say about the planet. Though, so. uh, All right. Yeah, cool. but. It was lovely. Clearly, the moon is always here. <laughs> I like how she's like, but I still have more to say about the moon. There's <laughs> plenty of days where I don't. You haven't heard me talk about anything else. Nope. <laughs> like, I don't normally talk, but if you ask about the Earth, I talk about the moon. Because <laughs> I feel like it's a segue. Yeah. Cool. Kind of you know, it's a really good heavenly body. <laughs> Let's talk about the moon. <laughs> celestial bodies? Did someone say celestial bodies? Uh, Proteus yeah. intimidates Gravy into accepting religion. <laughs> All right, cool. So you guys arrive at the inn in, at the um, the arena. Um, oh wait, oh. please allow me. Oh, they weren't here. <laughs> they weren't here. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I've uh, you know last time we were here we had a, a pretty good establishment we stayed in, and uh, I, I got a good Proteus. Why don't you um? Why don't you go? I, I point out it looks like a barn. Weird, but I point out this um, this this thing is that right there is the inn. Why don't you? Uh, we'll wait out here for a few minutes. Why don't you go in there and see? You know, maybe you can get us some rooms for the night. Cause boy, am I tired. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. 
Thanks. <laughs> I've been here before. I'm not going in. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? I love Garrett. it. Um, uh, so so I'll, the... I'll absolutely do so. I'll, I'll, by the way, like drop the intimidation crap, um, you know, right away. Just like, you know. <laughs> like as soon as you get there, gravy, you see yeah. as soon as he, as soon as he gets out of your eyesight, like he just sort of drops the, the, like what he's been doing. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like dry the sweat. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Back to David Bowie. Yeah. yeah. Take a breath. <laughs> Um, okay, so while he's gone, I want you I want you to make some talk, small talk with the party about okay. what you think about this. So like Okay. Alright, so I start snickering after Proteus goes out. It's like all right, all right guys. Alright, so that inn is for some reason also a barn with cows, and that's the freaking entertainment there. Like you go there, they give you this weird fermented milk drink, but like there's just cows everywhere and they sleep in the hay in the loft. It's really weird, man. But like I just want to know how that guy goes in there and comes out letting us know we have rooms. Uh, no, I meant I meant Gravy. I want you to con like oh. talk to the party. <laughs> that, that's fine, too. But Gravy, I want you to talk to the party about how Proteus has been, like, stepping up on you this whole time. <laughs> or would you mention anything? Uh, I guess I might say, did you guys notice anything different about Proteus? Uh... I mean, it seems like he had kind of an attitude or something. I don't know. I mean, I I don't want to like talk bad about the guy, but it's like. I mean, I think he did his hair. What's his problem today? But <laughs> I don't want to talk bad about him. But what's his problem? <laughs> He's usually a little overzealous. Nice, well, nice. I meant nice, nice. The guy had a chip on his shoulder the whole fucking trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just putting it out there. I mean, I've gone on a couple of trips with Proteus before, and I've never <laughs> had any real problem with him. I mean, he, he always kind of cordial. He is a nice guy, yeah. right? I mean, well, he was upset because you, you didn't let him sing a, a song. Either? Do you want to start something with me now? <laughs> and well, I'm trying, to, I'm trying, to, trying, trying to start anything with anybody. Like, I, <laughs> I'm sure it's all just a big misunderstanding. We can, we can all just talk it out when Proteus gets back. Maybe yeah, you that's what tell I us thought. Your <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan, get an inspiration. That's great. It's great stuff. All right, Proteus. I'm just trying to overcompensate because, like, I failed against Proteus, so now I'm trying to like <laughs> yeah. regain yeah. my man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Make sure you're like number two in the party pecking order. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. So Proteus, you go in and um, you open the door, and there's just like a bunch of dudes. Uh, it's like sort of like noon time or something like that. It's not like prime bar time at this time because you guys have been traveling through the night and it's a big long journey. But this place is a bar. Um, so, you know, there's like picnic tables and stuff like that. But it's set sort of on looking this sort of like field with a bunch of cows. So there's like a bunch of cows and the cows come right up to the – there's like a, a fence and they come right up and there's like – the picnic tables you can like pet the cows and they're like they come like almost right into the bar um there's a guy standing at the at the table at the bartender and he says uh what can i do for you stranger oh barkeeper i uh i require rooms for the night for myself and my companions and you know for my money i could not have chosen a finer establishment <laughs> Just look at what we can see here you know don't fence me in can I hear it? Exactly. That's wonderful. Exactly. This is a fabulous establishment. Oh, that's that's great. It, it makes me really glad to hear you say that. A lot of a lot of these people, these new new people, they they come in, they bring their instruments, they try to think that they're the you know they're the entertainment instead of the cows. The cows are the entertainment. Like we don't need any bards here, anyone to play any music, anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, you know, uh, in a standard inn, uh, I would be the entertainment. But here, he, his eyes I can, narrow. I can just, I can just <laughs> sit back. I can sit back with you. I can sit back with you, and I can admire the entertainment that nature provides. Mm, I'm glad you understand. <laughs> All Absolutely, right. you and me, wavelength, buddy. All right, that'll be five gold. Excellent. <laughs> Holy shit! 
What? Yeah, he gave him the bard discount. <laughs> to go in uh, <laughs> to sleep with cows? <laughs> They're very soft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he knew that guy. Like, he could see his loot from the from a mile away. <laughs> it was have you seen how I'm dressed? <laughs> I, I have a cloth of gold cape. <laughs> yeah, so he takes your gold and he says, yeah, there's a room upstairs yeah. for you. Beautiful. My thanks again. And I, I, I pause for just a, a nice, long, dramatic look out at the cows. Yep. No. And then I collect the others. Yeah. All right, cool. So you're all together again. Mm-hmm. Uh, so is there some tension when I get? <laughs> I don't know. You well, got... when I when I walk in, I want to go to the bartender mm-hmm. and ask for directions from my friend, the guy with the instruments. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's but... let's deal with Proteus walking out first. Like, is there anything mm-hmm. you want to do? Do you want to give him the like shoulder bump on your way into the bar or anything? Or... <laughs> Well, are are they coming in? Or am I going out? I don't know. What are you guys doing? I don't. I, mean, I don't, you came I don't out to let us control your characters. Rooms, right? You do. So I think that that was the plan. Was that you were going to go get rooms and tell us about them? So all right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm heading out. Yeah. All right. I hold my breath and puff my chest out. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I'll I'll but have I... to note this. <laughs> you like... know, I, I I point out the the like puffed out chest. That's noted. <laughs> It's like, but it's like uh, the scene in Tommy Boy when he asks the girls, like, where the weight room is. Uh, I love, I love finding new Chris Farley stuff. It's always the best. All right, cool. So you guys go in, stay out. What are you guys gonna do? Uh, I'll go in. Yeah, let's go in. Hey, hey, uh, one more thing. Hey, uh, there's an arena in this town. I, I, I mean, you can see in the picture. Like, as we're walking to the park, I'll, I'll point at it. That's where we won the magic. Yeah, you're such yep. a big deal. Very impressive. I am. Watch. When we go in here, watch when uh, go in here the first, new union nice workers see how they greet me. <laughs> yep. So you guys go in. Um, yeah, a couple of the people do kind of like look to see new people come in. And they kind of do what you could see. They do like a double take at Duroc kind of thing. Like, that's, that's kind of the thing. Um, and... Um, yeah, you go in. Oh, I'll manifest my grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, high five? <laughs> the the bartender kind of gives you a quizzical look, and then sort of like you can see you can see the gears grinding and him like figuring out where he knows you from. Uh, and then he's like, Ah, yes, you came back for some special milk, I see. And then he 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 puts some milk down on the table for you. I'll I'll, I'll shout out. If it wasn't for this milk, I never would have won that battle. Hurrah! <laughs> he he yeah. yells, and like the two other guys at the bar at noon also sort of like raise their cups. <laughs> You'll <guys are> <laughs> uh, have to try that one out later on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. For the rest of you, this this thing is like, um, it's like milk beer. But it's like it's so thick. It's like almost like um like a bread kind of thing. Uh, if you've ever watched Serenity, what they describe kind of the mutter's milk to be like that's mm-hmm. sort of what I imagine it as uh, in that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool. I give Derek mine and say, I think you need this more than I do. <laughs> Fighting werewolves, might. I mean, uh, talking <laughs> werewolves, I might. <laughs> well, I think we're all fatigued, right? Is is that correct? Just Derek. But like some oh, of you have demons okay. and stuff. I have other minuses, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Jason, I, I did have a, a question. The dislocated shoulder from much earlier on. We had a long rest, and then I was playing my loot at the party, so I, I guess I assume that it healed. Sure. But yeah. okay, all right, all right. Uh, I will order some uh, Mutter's milk. Uh, so, I, try I, to I, um, it down. Are, are we gonna? Uh rest up and then come back at night when it's busier and ask some questions about where we find the werewolves but like a little more gentle (laughs) that seems like a smarter course of action do you guys have any real beer gravy 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 i got plenty of beer (laughs) actually so i but we just can't drink it right here let's go out back (laughs) out back uh are there any more public houses around here Durock? do you happen to know 
Not that uh, I didn't care. I mean, like, this one's fine. <laughs> I didn't look. Yeah, I want to kind of, like, look around town and see if there's any symbols. Mm-hmm. Um, um, you know, if if you're going to head out and look around town, Susie, I'll stick with you. I, I think that we should, you know, maybe party? stick together. Okay, just, so okay. I will stick you know, with Rain. I, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do too much. I'm not trying to split the party. I think this is not going to give us any information. I think another spot in this town will give us more information. Yeah, well, uh, you could go to the too. tavern to get rumors, but you know that's up to you. I'm this D and D basically. It's, I, it's fine. Complex. You guys can split the party. It's fine. Yeah, I'm, don't worry about it. I I will probably stay with Durok and Gravy if for no other reason to be the designated driver. Okay, we'll go right. to our room then, maybe, and I start pulling out these hand kegs of, uh, like, I'm going to uh, get six little hand keg barrels. I'm like, I think this will tide you over for the day. <laughs> so, keep all of as, this? <laughs> so as we're drinking and talking and stuff, some t at some point, I'm just going to turn to Andrew and be like, so, dude, are you going to, like, always be green now? Or... <laughs> I think that's the question for, for me to ask Starfire later. Dude, I think you're always going to be green, though. Please don't that is amusing. That. I really don't want that. And then I, like, lean in, and I'm just like, that's so fucking weird. <laughs> so it is. So it is. How's that drink treating you, friend? You're going to be so alone. <laughs> <laughs> so I pull out my little glass. Uh, I will vial. always have Mistra by my side. Put my little orange slime on it and say, "I wonder if it eats plants." <laughs> you realize I'm not a plant, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. You're not a plant. And then I turn to Durak and I'm like, "You know, he's a fucking plant." <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe you should go move in with the mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So, did you guys? Strength. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, did you guys want to do anything at the bar, or, and then I'll cut over to them, or? And the, we, oh, as you cut busy. away, the last thing I say to Andrew is, "You made the right choice hanging out with us." It's really <laughs> cool. I'm just gonna press to digitate their beers that taste like shit. <laughs> That's where oh, I. Oh, this one went bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll cut over to the other squad who aren't just like drinking and shitting around. Um, All right, Proteus, we have a job to do. Excellent. So, um, do you have Streetwise, Susie? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's not even a, a thing on the what? list. Is it? Not? What is it? I, no. I think you're. I think you're mixing up. Uh, I play a lot of games. Yeah, yeah you're mixing yeah. up something. Investigation. There's no like. Or perception. Right? There's not a lot, it's really. No. Right. Uh, give me an insight or religion check. Oh, I love both of those. Oh, wait, I only get insight. Insight All right, nice. Okay, cool. So you kind of follow around the town and you actually find your way. Um, and on one of the houses, we will say this one here um yep. you see a little image of um a moon but it's not just any moon you like you actually think that it is a symbol of salune like it like like all right we're gonna knock on that door proteus you ready to be friendly absolutely perfect because i need your help <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Um, give me just a couple of talking points for Salune first. Um, so Salune is the goddess of the moon and the night and lycanthropes. Excellent. Got it. Um, so lycanthropes, good. The night is good. The moon is mm -hmm. grand. Um, but also she's a very, she's a good goddess. Um, and you know, she wants good things to happen. Just excellent. Let's do it. Thanks. All right. You knock on the door. All right. Mm -hmm. So you knock on the door. Um, There's some like secret code of knocking for the Salune worshippers out there. Cause like I do it. 
they're part of the church, not the cult. <laughs> there isn't, but as soon as they open the door, they they would see, you know, sort of like, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So that so um, this person opens the door, um, and they they sort of look at you and they say, um, "Come in." Oh, oh, sweet deal. Uh, well, what is what is the person who opens the door? Yeah. So um, what they are is um, they are a human. Um, or they sort of look human anyway. Um, and, um, they are a, uh, a woman. So, um, Which is mm-hmm. they're sort of nicely dressed, like, like, a maybe like somewhere between a merchant and a noble kind of thing. Um, this place is like the silk road. So there's a lot of merchants and there's a lot of commerce that happens mm-hmm. here. So it's pretty normal for something like that to happen. Okay. So I'll thank the person and I'll say moon's blessing be upon you, sister. <laughs> she 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 sort of looks around and she's like get in the house <laughs> <laughs> you know Susie I'm not sure you needed me here <laughs> alright we'll go inside <laughs> alright um, I say okay. something like hello sister you know she, she just says like get in the house and she like in the house. I'm fucking in the house <laughs> okay, <laughs> after you're in after you're in yeah. All right. So um, she says, um, yes, um, thank you. Um, so what are you, what are you doing here? What like I've never I've never seen you before. I've never seen you before. My name is Susie. What is yours? Um, I'm Miri. M-E-R-I. M-E-R-I. Um, and this is my companion is the correct term, right, guys? It's not like. I don't know. Yeah, companion. Right. I that's think that's an excellent term. Proteus. Nice to meet you. Um, Madam. Are you both. Oh, uh, Gabe, you lost your video. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, let me. Are it. you both um, sisters of Salune or. I am a sister of Salune, yes. I am a devout half elf. Hmm. Okay. She says, um, well, um, I. I sort of lead the worshippers here uh, of Salune in this town. There aren't a ton. Um, uh, our, our numbers have dwindled. Um, one of the one of the things that happened recently is um, Salune actually cast out um, the lycanthropes recently. Um, the the lesser deity, uh, Carrot, K, Car, uh, Karin, uh, it's K A R A A N, Karan, um, he decided to um, break away from her, her, her embrace, uh, and thought that if he could participate in the war, um, he might get himself a higher stature in the next cycle. Um, so th- there have been many lycanthrop problems in this area recently. Yes, that is why we are here. Um, I was still under the impression that Salune did approve of the good lycanthropes, but now she has cast them out. E- yes, um, many from from what I know, the communications that I have received is that um, there was very, there is a war going on. I'm not sure how much you know about it, but um, they, the Lycanthropes rallied under um, Karan and split off. They've become more wild, uh, less communicative, um, but worship fanatic is really all he needs to earn a place. Understood. And does she want them eliminated or well cured? It's an interesting it's an interesting proposition, certainly. So the, el- eliminating the lycanthropes would certainly affect his ability to gather momentum and um, 
essence and sort of fuel himself. Um, but ultimately, if there is a way to bring them back into the fold, then that would give that essence or that to, back to Salune. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it's possible. I haven't really tried. I'm not much of a fighter, but. I have the ability to cure the disease. Or the curse. Sorry. She says, yes. Um, I, of, of them that are cursed and not born or chosen, that would, yes. that would cure them. But what after that, I do not know. And where are they located? They are all over this area and most of the Amber Road. Um, he, he, he is bringing people that do not hire guards. He is making prey on easy pickings and converting them uh, through curse and blood. How many are they in number? I do not know. But you said he is. It makes it sound as if Karan is taking an active role in, in this right here. He, he is taking a very active role. While I am unsure if he has come down officially or um, has has brought his deific presence to the to to the land he is communicating with them heavily um, which is part of this war however it does take him energy so I don't know how much he is spending versus keeping but the 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 divine math is not always clear to me Well, it, it does sound as if there is something that Saluna could offer that this Quran is, is very specifically not offering. Um, you said that the, the lycanthropes appeared to be more wild um, under uh, Quran. It is true. You know, possibly more like bloodthirsty, more evil even. Um, and uh, and so actually following, following Saluna um, could be described as its own reward. I mean, she would level out some of the wildness that is how it was in the past yep so i mean that you know that's that's an argument already you know so at least you you have some sort of a a proselytizing word that that you can spread that's good are there any in the town that know a more specific location of where Quran could be? No? I do not know. Okay. I appreciate the information. We are staying at the inn if anything comes up. She nods and says, I, I will be here. This is my home. Perfect. <laughs> what do you sell, by the way? You're a, a merchant, I take it. I... Um, I, I, I'm uh, a cleric, not not not. Oh, like she, sorry. She, she points to she's like, not like her, but um, I I am of of the faith. I I sell faith, and um, I I am experienced enough to receive messages from Salune, and um, I have given my faith in in a way that makes it easier for her to communicate with me. Um, so the, the, the war that they are fighting, it can be funneled through my voice. All right. Uh, before Whoa. we leave, I give her 10 gold. Okay. I appreciate the information and want you to succeed under Salune's moon. She bows. She says, thank you. Um, I vote too. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time for us to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> she nods. She opens the door. Mm -hmm. 
Kicks us at the back of the knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bow again to cover the fact that I'm not giving her any gold at all. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't think she was expecting the gold. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a nice touch. Um, so uh, on, on the way back to the circuit around town, um, uh, is there any other uh, establishment around here that seems like a, like a, a public place, you know, like a bar, an inn, anything like that? Yeah, so the other public place is the arena. Um, that's oh, kind of the big okay. thing. There's also an encampment sort of out here. Uh, people are, like, training. Um, they're kind of, like, a little bit of adventurers. You think they might be, like, more like hunters for for game and stuff like that in the, in the, Great. In the woods and stuff like that. Um, but there does seem to be like sort of a, like a big commotion here in the, in the arena. There's no fight going on that, you know, mm -hmm. like that sort of has like its own air to it. People are in the streets and stuff like that, but there is something going on in there. Um, also over here in one of these houses, um, it's sort of, the door is open, uh, but inside you see like a bunch of people like training, like imagine, you know, sort of like, like the, like the boxing rings and stuff like that. And people are just like on speed bags and, you know, heavy, heavy weights. And they're like sort of clanging swords around and stuff like that. So okay. about five minutes passes from her shutting the door. And the whole time Susie is quiet. She does not say a single word and then bursts out with like a holy shit. <laughs> There's no oh. worshippers on this plane. <laughs> well, Goddess not only that, is. your your goddess's portfolio is like changed overnight. Yup. Like so we're not I doing lycanthropes anymore. Either. I'm not so cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's next? Not the moon. <laughs> well, then there'd be nothing to worship. <laughs> yeah. Very strange. Very strange. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm excited for you and also sorry. Yup. Glad I'm not yep. a lycanthrope. You know, just willy nilly, let's change. Let's everything. go in with the other guy. God Wars. Very strange. Very we're just going to kill the other guy and then we can get the lycanthropes back. So we, <laughs> we still need kind of a. Yeah. <laughs> He's a lesser god. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I've He's done it before. It's basically a demigod. Um, we still need a good lead on uh, on a location or or somebody, um, a point person to go to for these uh, uh, yeah. active lycanthropes. Um, everywhere, so I guess we just go everywhere. And well, the, a, a the biggest point. commotion, yeah, is in the 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 ring. But I don't think that has anything to do with the lycanthropes. No, no, no. It's it's really just like, you know, we'll see the greatest number of people there to, to potentially talk to. That's okay. it. Yeah. All right. So we'll cut back to you guys. Um, so keep in mind, it's around Come like on. one. Um, PM. You know, are you guys just still day drinking and, and shooting and uh, doing Ander shit like an hour later or? So as soon as you cut back in, I'm just like, so is like all of you green? Like... <laughs> All of you. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, <laughs> like it's only the healers see. Like, <laughs> that is such a good way I to put it. it. This is like a only the healer. My fate. There's and I'm borderline <laughs> failing. <laughs> oh, sorry. So it's like the whole time, like when you cut back, we have not let up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have like uh, I don't know this thing set up like a giant uh, I don't know like board that I'm like writing things down to try to learn more about it and it's all just like <laughs> about how green he is <laughs> like stuff about plants and shit even his fingernails are green <laughs> like like a, an arrow drawn to the finger fingernails also green <laughs> So, so they are, Durok, how stupid, <laughs> how very stupid. How, actually, an now? interesting question, can you still consume regular food, and if so, does that <laughs> mean a... potions work or not? 
that that's I'm a actually good question. Really curious about. Yeah, you can still consume food. Like you just can photosynthesize. It doesn't mean you have to. Okay. No matter what happens, I'm still fascinated. Like, if he does eat something, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> he still can. Uh, you, you he remind, still can! Wow. Gravy reminds me of the, the guy in Almost Heroes that who's, like, talking into the severed ear, and he's like, can you still hear me? Like, that sort of... Occurred. Bidwell! Can you hear me, Bidwell? <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Well, it doesn't work <laughs> anyway, but even if it did... <laughs> I can still hear you. I can. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, are, do you guys want to do anything or just that forever? I mean, you know, you could be productive we're, we're, if you want or not. Like, I don't. Well, we're staying put until uh, we, we're, we're we're collected. So, I, I mean, feel and, like and, we're and, in a spot here. Like, I don't know why you're like questioning whether this is productive or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So All we're. Right. we're a lot of notes behind me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we're cutting back to Susie and Proteus. Yeah, you then. know, if, 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 if Susie and Proteus think, hey, maybe I should bring that hero of the arena with us when we go to the arena to get people to talk, great. Oh. Not, no problem. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we should link back up. All right. Mm-hmm. Some lichen to take out. I mean. So I, I as Susie and Proteus walk in, they, they hear, uh, you guys hear long before you arrive, you know them sort of asking Ander all these questions about him being green. What are the th- the top three things Gravy has written on the chalkboard about about this, just so that they, they get an accurate representation of what is happening? Okay. Here. So number one, permanent question mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> number two, uh, dating, like like <laughs> and relationships, like huge question mark and it's like <laughs> circled and underlined <laughs> and then three is can still eat food <laughs> fascinating okay all right go ahead like as soon as they walk in i'm just like casting presence to digitation to make the board look blank <laughs> cleaning it oh hey, you're here <laughs> did something happen nothing i want to discuss but i'm sure i will have to at some point anyways <laughs> i just Wait, what are the notes i i look over at Proteus and i'm just like He's a delicate flower now. <laughs> oh, wow. that's, that's wonderful. Beautiful. I have things to say. Please don't encourage them. <laughs> I, I beg you, please. Mm-hmm. Ander, shush. I, Susie's I, trying to talk. I usher uh, sure, Susie for. Hey, hey, Ander, are you feeling okay? I need you boys to say that. You like never heard Susie raise her voice. <laughs> Salune, no longer welcomes the lycanthropes. New god taking over the lycanthropes. They're all everywhere, including this yellow brick road that I forgot the name of. Amber. Road. Amber. It's red. Like, it's red I, yeah. I was close. Yep, close. It was a color. <laughs> it was a color. It was a color. It was a special color. <laughs> um, including this this road. Um and there are worshippers of Salune in this small ass dink town. I, I like to imagine Susie is saying all these like super important things with just a cow right behind her. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like you just that's the, that's the backdrop. It's just like a and cow. And everyone's just, like trying to pay attention, just, but they're paying attention to the cow. Just eating slowly, just <laughs> no, I'm super invested. I'm I'm here for it. I'm uh, I'm trying to pluck a string for every one of Susie's points. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what That's do you all I have. Let's go take out some lycanthropes. Wait, 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 wait. What? Like, like this other another god came in and and took part of Saluna's domain, or she willingly cast them out? She cast them out because they are no longer good. So, it sounds like they might have been seduced away. And then maybe there's an opportunity for you to win him back. But, you know, you want to kill him instead. I'm cool with they one. No, I'm going to try to take them back into, you know, Salune's warm embrace. But ah, cool. I cannot take them all. 
So, uh, right, right, right. So the ones that don't want to go and that try to kill you, those are the ones I kill. Yes. There you go. Ah, all right. Wait, which god is now seeing seeing over the lycanthropes? The uh, one we're going to kill. It's a new well, one, a lesser god called Karan. And uh, I spell it out for you. Karan, Karan. Can I get a religion check? I would also yeah, like a religion check. Yep. Go ahead and give me some religion checks, y'all. Crap, God, crap. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think he deserves a name. Crap, God, crap. We will. Uh, All right. I will see if my my orange slime will eat him. Oh. Right. Uh, Ander, you you're the only one who has heard of this god before. Uh, he is a lesser god of lycanthropy, cannibalism, and wild savagery and urban decay. Um, so those are his purviews. Um, and he he was um, like sort of what the wild and the like sort of like like the sort of tossing away of of humanity and its its constraints werewolves. You know what I mean? Like the, the lycanthropes of that nature. Um, whereas like Sulane sort of embraced the change in that way. Like they were like, no, we like, this is what we want to be. This is, um, so you think like it's in his purview and like, if he could do some convincing, like, yeah, maybe like it's well, I mean, I'm not as familiar with Karin as, as Mistra, but like anthropy is somewhat in his domain so i suppose it makes sense that he's oh he's now taking more active role in like interrupts i suppose but i mean it, i can't imagine it's impossible to restore Selene's favor surely there there must be some way for them to redeem themselves let's give them the opportunity do they need to redeem themselves? I, I, I thought that they really just needed to, like, rededicate themselves to Salune and want to, like, you know, be less wild. And clearly, if Salune casts them out, it is because they have offended her in some way. So, yes, they surely need redemption of some kind. Gods be fickle, man. Dan, we're getting, uh, we're going to go to break right now. All right, be right back. Mm -hmm.